Hello everybody, this is Cesar and here I am with the SLG200S and before we uh, upload videos with the sound I'm gonna set it up eh, because I didn't have time I took it straight from the um, shop uh, and I, I've been very busy at work so I'm gonna set it up, I'm gonna clean it I'm gonna change the strings and then we're ready to go we are also going to take the opportunity I'm gonna show you the piezo for you in order to see um, how different it is from the other one okay so stay tuned for a second please so first of all we are going to check the relief and as always uh, those are the specs I use uh, it does not mean that they, those are the good specs for you uh, the good spec in the reality is the spec that makes you feel comfortable when you play and does not produce uh, fret bass or, 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 or an undesired sound coming from your instrument. Mm? Now, as I told you, I always use in my necks around 10,000 of an inch of, of relief, which if you operate in millimeters is going to be 0 0.25. Eh? And my filler gauges are in millimeters because they are from, uh, from Spain. Mm? So basically, K point the first fret, Capo at the first fret as always and just let's check if we have the relief that we want in this guitar I'm going to use the last fret huh? because it's a kind of a different construction it, you cannot say that the fret meets the body here because there's no body huh? anyway capo first fret as we said 0 0.25 filler gauge huh? and 7th and 9th fret huh? and it works very well little bit tight but does not push the string up eh? it's a little bit tight but I don't like a lot of relief on my necks eh? here it works beautifully eh? so we are going to leave it as it is we are not going to adjust the truss rod in the guitar though I'm gonna show you how it looks like eh? just for the sake of you uh, seeing how how the guitar is, is, is built eh? and the reason why I'm doing this before I change the strings is because I'm going to use the same brand of strings, the Adarios, and the same uh, gauge of, streets, of strings, so, which is going to be 1252s, uh, huh? the Adario, the Adario Bronze. Huh? Okay, so we have already taken the screws off and we retire the cover plate, mm? the truss rod cover, we put it in a safe place mm? with our screwdriver here, right? And let me just zoom in or change a little bit of a perspective eh? and you see the truss rod cavity. Mm? So that's the truss rod cavity, right? And well, I mean, remember, please always use the key that comes with the guitar in the event that after. Eh? Putting the new strings, we should somehow uh, be forced to uh, modify the, 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 the relief, which is not going to be the case for sure, but in any case, eh, you would basically introduce your trash rod key here, and it fits perfectly, as you see, right? You may see, you probably may, 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 may appreciate here, right, that it is the, the nut, the treasure nut is really kind of inside. It's difficult to see, hmm? but it is perfect, right? It fits perfectly there, right? Okay. Okay, now the action. Hmm? I always use Taylor specs in my acoustic guitars. And Taylor says, sixth string, 12th fret, 2.4 millimeters, which is 330 seconds, which is basically uh, 664s, and we are exactly there. Eh? Wow! And now in the first string, at the first string, it says 1.9 millimeters, which is, if my calculations are correct, uh, 564 let me see if I can get yeah, it yeah I think you can see that we are exactly we are we are perfectly on specs so 
564s 1.9 millimeters first string and 664s 330 seconds sixth string at the 12th fret which is 2.4 millimeters here we go uh, the strings are out of our way and that's the saddle uh, by the way I forgot to say that the bridge is rosewood uh, rosewood uh, as, as it is the the fingerboard fretboard uh. Uh, let's remove the saddle it is not fixed tight uh. and as you see we still have enough saddle if we want to adjust it right? if we think we need to adjust it uh, in order to correct action etc well, is, I think it's not going to be the case right but anyway and what you see underneath is the PSO hmm? it looks different than the PSO that the the one with nylon string has of course right and again this is the responsible of transmitting the vibrations to the preamp and it is very important that the saddle if you make any adjustment to the saddle, the saddle keeps on making a even contact with the PSO in order to have a, let's say, homogeneous sound across the six strings and not to have a lot of bass but not treble or vice versa. So what we are going to do now is we are going to clean the guitar. I'm not going to, you know, kind of keep you on the camera for that. Uh, just one thing. Yes, we are going to oil the fretboard and we are going to say a couple of things about oiling the fretboard. So we are going to clean the fretboard, mm, fingerboard, and I'm going to oil it later. Right. And I'm going to oil it with F1 oil, which is what I use already for several years eh? and it's a good product it does not have lemon oil I don't want to go into the basics but I think I know something about chemistry believe me but anyway eh? the idea is that there's people all around the place with this all over the place with this eh? no don't oil the fretboard this is a stupidity yes oil the fretboard well anyway we are not the only we guitar players are not the only let's say players of string instruments who oil fretboards, fingerboards. Eh? As an example, in my years at the Royal School of Music, eh, I can tell you that you can see, for example, eh, double bass players doing that. Eh? Fretboards, fingerboards of classical guitars are never oiled. That is not true. Eh? Uh, there are very good professional flamenco classic classical guitar players who oil the fretboard. Mm? The thing is that you sh should not overdo it. Mm? I do it once, twice per year. Right? Mm? I don't do it every time I change the strings of, of, of the guitar. Right? And I always use this one. I stopped using other products since I uh, since I found this. Right? Uh, and if I'm recommending this to you, it's because I think it's very good, simple and easy to use. Okay, so now we have already cleaned the fretboard fingerboard and also oiled it. Uh, with the oil, as you probably have heard in other channels, uh, Randy for example, uh, don't let it there soaking. Uh, I put one small drop per fret and basically rub it very quickly and dry it eh? with a dry with a dry rag i never use paper because the paper sometimes disintegrates there and you know you gotta clean it again so i use a clean rag eh? microfiber one and just simply put a drop rub it and take it off right and now what we are going to do is we are going to check if we need to somehow tighten the uh, tuning pegs so we are going to use this tool and it's okay don't over tight it all right just and use always the right wrench because if not you want a hard 
the tuning peg and, and maybe even the finish. Bah, it's perfect. Mm? Done! Hey, look at Bender, he is happier because his fur has been growing and he is really happy, happy. Hey, Bender, say something. Hey, say something to our friends in YouTube. Hello, Bender. Hi. <laughs> And what do you think about that? Eh? I'm having tea on my own mug. Eh? <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, now let me show you how the tuner works. First, you should change your guitar. On. Okay? Now you should change your tuner. And you just simply change your guitar. We are there. Let me just untune one string, for example, the E. Here you see. And then you got it there, right? It works. It is not a super, super accurate tuner but it really works lets you know if you're in tune okay well guys this has been uh, the setup uh, remember i have used taylor specs for the for the action 664 which is 330 seconds which is 2.4 millimeters at the 12th fret sixth string and 1.9 millimeters which is 564 at the first string, uh, the first E. I have used 10 thousandths of an inch, right? Around 10 thousandths of an inch, 0 0.25 millimeters for the relief, for the neck relief. And well, uh, in the next video, we are going to listen to the different sounds that the guitar can offer. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned and see you very soon. Bye. And remember, tea always tastes better if you have your own mark. Uh, see you very soon. Bye.